Hey y'all. Welcome or welcome back. I'm about to window watch the weekend for all signs. Okay. Please like, comment, and like, comment, and subscribe to the video, to the channel, to the, the stuff. <laughs> God, universe, angels, spirit, guides, and ancestors. Please give us some clear and precise messages for the weekend for all signs. Starting with Aries and ending with the Pisces. On the energy of high vibration, high frequency, and high white light is welcome, spirit. No energy of low vibration, low frequency, or negativity is welcome, and I ask that you rebuke it. In the name of you. Amen. Amen. Okay. Aries. Um, if anybody's dealing with some type of poverty or financial issues i feel like you'll receive some type of gift um it might actually be a resource well it will be a resource i don't know if it'll be finances but it'll be a a gift to help you get to the pathway of where you need to go okay occupation yeah some type of better opportunity could be coming up or some type of job that brings in change or something you're working on um, just takes off. Yeah, you receive some type of support. That brings in unexpected income. Because you might have had to deal with some type of despair of a false person. Some type of aid is going to come in to assist. By giving you a job or giving you a better job or giving you a promotion. Some of my occupation, or this is something you're working on. Excuse me. Yeah, some type of healing in your resources is taking place. This could be do it to do with an air sign or some information that you receive that just helps you just instantly change, have a change of faith or a change of love. Yeah, you're going to be happy about this change with this Nine of Cups energy. And you will feel victorious. You could be getting somebody who finally, somebody could see your, see your, all that you bring to work or your talent, your craft. And they're realizing and they're appreciating. And you're feeling like you finally found somebody who appreciates the work you do. Ten of Cups. Yeah, it's bringing in a lot of happiness. This could be something to do with your spiritual, um, your spiritual reality message of concern you receive I feel like you receive some type of news here and it might be a little bittersweet because it's you making a decision to walk away from something that's stagnating and bringing in confusion to your life after all, you just got some good news about your finances, about something that's going to take place or take off in your life. You can't afford this, whatever it is. Yeah, I feel like somebody's coming in with some heartbreaking news. Somebody's coming in to tell you that it's some type of problems taking place in their life. And I do feel like you feel bad for them, but intuitively, you already know that they heard about your investment. And they're coming for some type of stability. Somebody from the past is coming, trying to work together, trying to collaborate, trying to apologize, trying to maybe even start fresh. But listen to your intuition about this person. It's no coincidence that things are just about to start changing for you. Even if you haven't told nobody, somebody can sense it intuitively. Okay? So, be careful who you support. Okay? Um, be careful who you tell stuff to. Because everybody can't be trusted. And they pay attention to people who come back all of a sudden now that you just receive blessings or now that you're just coming up. Even if you haven't told nobody yet, somebody could sense it in the spirit. Okay. Taurus. 
Taurus. What do we got for Taurus? Adjudication. There's a false person here. Concerned. Because of some type of expectation that they're waiting on. Could be finances, some type of great fortune. But I feel like it happened at the results of somebody else's hard work and they didn't do shit. So something's going to happen with a false person here where they don't know if it's going to go in their favor or against them. It could be when it comes to a new beginning or a house. This could be somebody going to court um, about resources and materials. Somebody could be going to a to spiritual court too. The lovers, community, courthouse, and wealthy man. That's divine masculine. So somebody could be not doing so well here. Feeling left out in the cold and regret. Not able to start anything new because they're feeling trapped. And this has something to do with a main female. The lovers. Somebody made a decision or had a bright idea to support somebody. The, the devil. The stream car. Could have been a Capricorn. Could have been a, a Leo. I feel like maybe you decided to support somebody that you should have restricted yourself from, but maybe you had love for them. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The world, Sagittarius. Somebody decided to hold back from something in order to support something else. But that didn't work out too well. Because whatever they decided to support, they're now trying to walk away from and take a leap of faith over where they should have been. The devil in disguise is what I'm hearing. Could be a water sign here. Could be somebody that left you out in the cold. Or somebody who's... Out in the cold. Sorry. That's what it seems like. Strength card. I feel like somebody should have restricted themselves from a situation that they decided to reconcile. But they could have did it for short-term victory and success or to win at all costs. And now they're having anxiety. So somebody reconciled because they wanted to win at all costs. But at the same time, it's the strength card. So it's showing up as something that you should have resisted or restricted yourself from or, you know, fought off. But now this person has anxiety because they already didn't decided to put the work in, start all fresh, do something with the past. Tell me about the devil. And they got betrayed. Possibly by a fire sign or a Scorpio. Or this is how a Scorpio or a fire sign is feeling about you. Five of Swords is betrayal to the devil. It's manipulation. Somebody could be addicted. Or codependent here, but they but they talk a good game and they wear a good robe, Queen of Wands energy, but it's a disaster. That's the same energy somebody's walking away from, trying to take a leap of faith. Now I'm trying to do what your intuition told you to do, but it might be a little too late for all that. Some of my community, maybe it won't be. That's I mean it's different strokes for different folks. Yep, this is somebody disappointed, regrets. Regretting your decision to support somebody because you should have just went after a new beginning, you should have just started fresh, you should have just let this shit die down. But no, somebody got an ego, but no, somebody want to be defensive, somebody want to do this and do that. So, courthouse, so now somebody's gonna try to go back and try to find the balance in this love situation. There's that intuition and taking a leap of faith. This is some divine masculine energy. Sun. 
Yeah. Somebody's retreating from a player to try to get equal give and take. But that's what they were supposed to do in the first place. Healthy man. I mean, wealthy man. I called him healthy man. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now he's trying to move forward to the twin flame. Move away from something. Some type of investment. It could be a Virgo here. Somebody with Virgo in their chart. Because he's disappointed. His heart got broke. By a possible Queen of Swords. Yeah, because he should have stayed his ass from the past instead of going back. He should have been reconciling shit. He was supposed to be moving on to new beginnings. And somehow, some way, the message got misconstrued. Or he just disres blatantly ignored it. <laughs> I was going to say disres blatantly disrespected it, but I mean, if you ignoring it, that's what it is because basically that's the Lord giving orders and you're like, nah, Lord, fuck your orders. I'm going to do what I want to do. With all due respect, Lord, I'm just telling them. I'm just making that clear. That's what it's saying. That's what it's like. Okay, so that's for somebody. Gemini. Window watch the weekend for the Gemini people. What's the message? High honor, occupation, expectation. So somebody's feeling left out in the cold from a journey. And they're waiting on the Lord to work on it, to fix it, to. Because high in our occupation, you expecting the Lord to step in on your behalf while you're sitting out in the cold from your journey. That's for somebody. The wealthy man. Divine masculine energy. The message of concern that they came out in reverse. And the. Uh, privileged lady. This is divine masculine and divine feminine. So somebody's not concerned. But I feel like they should be. This is what the energy feels like. Somebody's not concerned. Tell me about this wealthy man. Justice through. It's because you're so somebody's expecting some type of justice in the future here. Where there's balance going to be restored. Justice. What's going on here? Distortion is what they said. Yeah. So there could be a masculine energy. It could be a Pisces. It could be a Libra. But it's stagnation here. And the destiny with this Queen of Swords energy. So, I feel like the justice is going to belong to the opposite person of who thinks it. Like, the, this masculine thinks it belongs to him, but I really think it belongs to the Queen of Swords instead. Because he's been the one stagnating the Ace of Wands. Unless she's been the one stagnated, then the karma will be hers. But I feel like it's his, but he just like, I ain't worried about it because I know I did the right thing. Somebody's been receiving messages via intuition and not listening. Hangman. Yeah, somebody's been stagnating a brand new start, opportunity. They've been restricting it because they got anxiety. So message of concern reverse. This could be somebody that's not speaking. It's weird here because somebody needs to walk away from the lies and stand in the truth or get in the common waters in order to take a leap of faith like the intuition told them towards some type of emotion or something. But they're not concerned here. Burdens are down. They're not concerned about missing opportunities. And what is their intuition saying, spirit? But I feel like secretly they might be. Their intuition is telling them they need to make a decision to walk away. From a possible queen of pentacles, Capricorn. Somebody's being told to walk, make a decision to walk away from a Capricorn and let the cycle close out. 
Gemini masculine. But you're not concerned. And what are you going to miss out on? So you're clearly out in the cold from the situation that matters. Because you've been holding back. But you're too busy focusing on the past. So from your perspective, it looks like, oh, I don't need to be concerned because I'm doing the right thing. But that's bullshit. Because your intuition told you that you need to close the cycle out that you're still looking back and holding on to. And if you're too busy looking back and holding on to, how you got a, you ain't got an empress. And you're sitting over here in the emperor energy. This don't make sense. Tell me a privileged lady. See, look at you right here. Privileged lady. She received the seven of swords. Why? Because somebody's running in and out on her when they're supposed to be giving her equal give and take. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But guess why? There's not even equal give and take being happened. Why? Because the masculine still needs to retreat from this queen of pentacles right here. In order to give into this spiritual connection. But from his perspective, he's doing what he's supposed to do. Judgment. Somebody going to end in a bad situation thinking they know everything. That's what this is. Somebody thinking they got it in the bag when they don't. Yeah, the emperor is going to end up under judgment. And very enlightened about these decisions that he's making. You should be careful, Mr. Emperor. Maybe you just want to recheck and double check what your intuition is telling you to do. Because I feel like you might be listening to ego instead of intuition. And that will hurt you. Okay? Stay safe out there. I'm just saying. That's for somebody. In the weekend for the cancer people. What's the message? Y'all could be focused this weekend on something y'all working on. Toil and labor, poverty, journey. Somebody's here feeling left out in the cold from a journey but i feel like it's due to toil and labor it's because they allowed somebody to put in so much work and then getting them back and now they're in a, a spiritual predicament where they're getting spiritually punished and all they can do is think and be concerned here cancer yep message of concern somebody could literally be writing from lockup said well false person so some of y'all can have somebody locked up but then y'all got somebody better for you that you done ran into out here that's that's specific for somebody it's like you've been messaging back and forth with somebody and then sudden wealth comes in for you and now you, 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 you're in a bind, Nate. <laughs> you get somebody mature, somebody you really connected to, somebody who compliments you. Somebody that you feel was like a divinely guided person. Message of concern. It don't have to be for everybody. Somebody could be literally went to spiritual jail. Now they're trying to clean up their act. Message of concern. the six of cups and the two of pentacles leo sagittarius aries heavy on the aries somebody wants to clear out the confusion here with you when it comes to wish fulfillment they want to tell you the truth the 
it. They don't want they look somebody been wearing a mask here and they just need to let this off their chest. The six of cups, the emperor, and the two of pentacles bring in some fresh energy. Could be a Virgo. And this is somebody who's been through some type of spiritual lesson here. We got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Queen of Pentacles. And somebody, dang, what's up with all this moving to the past? We are in a retrograde, I believe. Um, but Six of Cups could also be about the past. With Eight of Wands, somebody decided to move towards the past. And it taught their ass a lesson. Talking about the, the, the Emperor. Okay, strength reverse. Okay, now somebody wants to surrender. Somebody's surrendering to the universe. Because they just don't know the way. King of Swords reverse. They don't have the facts. They don't have the the clarity. They don't have they don't know the truth. They can't see it to a source. So they're ready to surrender. To the world, to the universe, to the disciples that need to be closed, to the beginners that need to be had. Hermit. It had to be the hermit that did this to this person. Because the hermit seen you straight inward, straight isolation till you get your shit real. Till you get your shit right. Star energy. Somebody's been healing. It could be an Aquarius. Okay, yeah, somebody could also face the painful ending from the past and they're finally healing from it so that they can have, see future growth and their happiness. Somebody's surrendering because they didn't thought they didn't they found out they didn't know what they thought they knew. Yeah, it could be a Libra or a fire sign, but somebody's got the truth, the facts of the matter. They become enlightened about real love. Mary J. Blige type. I feel like somebody could have been searching for real love, but they were searching in all the wrong places here. Somebody feels like they didn't hit the jackpot with you. And they want to be victorious. They want to reconcile with you and this Queen of Swords energy. Guard it because your heart got broke. I do feel like some type of blessing comes in for you, or it is, or you get the wind of it, and you, or maybe you came up off of some some type of sudden wealth in the process of you and this person being apart, and now you're concerned that they might be holding on to you for resources, and that gives you anxiety. You don't you 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 wonder if they know. feel like you will receive some type of downloads when it comes to the spiritual connection here and the decisions that you should make when it comes to the pathway or the destiny because I feel like you may feel like you don't know but you know I mean it might not seem that you know but you got the tools it's gonna all work out okay so cuz since some of y'all got the false person now this is different separate from whoever this is right here some of y'all got an additional person that you care about coming back in here being fake, being phony because they need something from you and they feel like you got it. But I don't feel like it's a love, like a love interest. I feel like it's like a friend or a family member that you fall out with or that y'all be rocky sometimes. the weekend for the Leo people. What's the message? Adjudication, marriage, great fortune. Somebody could be going through a divorce here 
and it and it worked. I don't want to say it worked out, but you know the whole proceedings things. It it goes pretty good in your favor here, especially if somebody made you feel trapped or brought your health down in some way, shape, or form. Somebody could be wanting to start something new with you. But it has to go through the divine first, okay? Leo. Something's coming here in the distant horizons. All your hard work will pay off here. It's something that you feel like you put a lot of work in and you didn't get nothing back. Because the person was false. Um, spirit may have ended the situation, but I do feel like some type of support is coming in here. Or some type of a gift or something unexpected for all your hard work. You're going to receive some type of news here. This might take place after the weekend, but I feel like you might get an intuitive hit or some type of clue over the weekend. Distant Horizon. It's definitely about a situation where you put in a lot of effort and you feel like you didn't get back what you were worth or the effort that you put in. Yeah, you're going to receive some news here. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. We also got Taurus. It could be a house or a car that you're receiving news about. Or it could be just some type of new love coming in. In a place of something that was a disaster. Okay, something is ending for something new to begin. This might not be the weekend again, but it's, you're going to start getting a hint or a clue about it. Spiritually, you're going to get a spiritual or intuitive message. Some type of download or a dream. Could be when you're sleeping here. Something, excuse me, that you prayed for. You see this lady, she looked like she in prayer. It's something that you prayed for. And it's happening. And it may not be happening in the way that you thought it would happen, but it's happening. The hard part is over. And you're going to be receiving some type of news about it. I feel like the toil and labor was kind of a hard part, but I do feel like it contributed to you learning some type of lesson. Um, a lesson that, of being good on your own or standing on your own. Or ways to see things coming to fruition with you to, to, to work smarter and not harder but some of y'all could this they always get this moving and relocation energy something is about to take off and look she there's that praying lady again somebody prayed for something and you're going to be receiving messages or a hint whereas you've been feeling lost or like you can't see you're going to be receiving a message of honesty or a message of the right thing to do. You could be getting this from a wise counselor here with the King of Swords, or somebody could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Somebody could have took a loss behind an ear sign or a water sign. Could have betrayed you. For the air sign. It just feels like an argument and a fight here with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's giving like left out or abandoned. Some type of harsh truth, or it could be hurtful words, or some somebody could have a mental illness here that you're dealing with, or you're trying to be patient with, or you put all this work in for. It's definitely something that you put a lot of work in, and somebody possibly didn't do you right, or you got the short end of the stick, or you just did feeling like you've been working hard and it ain't pay off. You're gonna be receiving some type of news about that. 
people might be getting pulled out your life. Some type of unexpected income is going to happen. Okay. Window watching the weekend for the Virgo people. What's the message we got for the Virgos? Official person, main female occupation. So Virgo, you could be receiving news here. Uh, a journey that involves great fortune that somebody was trying to steal from you, but that's about to come to an end. And some type of great fortune and new opportunities come in. An official person. Somebody's an official person here that you would like to put the work in with. But somebody was trying to steal a great fortune journey from you or something. Steal something. With the thief energy. Sudden wealth. Poverty. Somebody wanted to steal possibly money. Yeah, sudden wealth and great fortune. Somebody trying to put somebody in poverty here. But now they're sitting here thinking about what they've done. Thinking now they're in despair, feeling concerned and bad health. This is something somebody could have did to a divine feminine. And spirit done stepped in. Somebody was waiting on support. From a gift that the universe gave them. But I don't think they received it. Because now we at courthouse. Somebody got left out. Now somebody's under spiritual judgment. What's going on here for the house? Tell me about the sudden wealth energy here. Back then, they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. So somebody can see something that looks beneficial. So now they want to get, they want to uh, support. When at first they wanted to leave it out in the cold or abandon it. Or somebody try to steal it from them, and this is why they wasn't sure that it was a great fortune. They wasn't sure. It could have been something to do with a twin flame that's supposed to be victorious, but it might be ending now instead. Because somebody tried to steal it or some shit went wrong here. Could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Heck, or it could be a Gemini heavy on the... Oh, we got Pisces and can heavy on the Pisces, heavy on Scorpio. But somebody didn't see clearly how great of a will, how sudden will. Somebody didn't see that this was going to be truly abundant here. We got the number 11. Definitely could be a twin flame. Somebody was in an illusion or being presented an illusion so that they couldn't see clearly. So that they wouldn't balance or... Um, balance. What is the seven of cups with the moon? Oh, okay, so that's what this is about. This is somebody leaving somebody in the cold because they didn't see how abundant they could be. So they left them out in the cold because they didn't have the clarity. But then they received the truth justice card. Teaching, sending their ass right back to school. Tell about the, the justice. Yeah, somebody got, somebody got exposed. Somebody got told the truth that the decision that they made only put them in stagnation. Whatever they decide to support. Because on the bottom is community. So they supported somebody. They just didn't support the right somebody. Tell about five of pentacles. Ooh, now somebody got anxiety because they didn't realize they didn't left the wrong person out in the cold. So now it's showing up as betrayal. To, and then the devil's here. So somebody didn't listen to the wrong shit. Something about the devil. Capricorn. The Queen of Pentacles is now coming out. Somebody got deceived. Could have been a Capricorn. Somebody tried to steal your motherfucking destiny or put that bitch to an end. But it's showing up as the devil. It's showing up as you being betrayed when you should have been listening to your intuition. 
So somebody done left the wrong shit out in the cold. Something about poverty. I feel like you're about to find this out this weekend. Like somebody's finding this out about you. I don't know. Yeah. Somebody was defensive and guarded. And they was too big. Look at that. That's an ego stroke in the past. Somebody want to go back to the past or something about the past. They wanted to invest in something that was already built. Already had longevity attached. Six of Cups. Yeah, if somebody went back to the past and the past and fucked them over. You Going back to the past was a bad decision. So now somebody's about to be taught a lesson about that pentacle they should have been reaching out for. They should have been reaching out for the brand new beginning because the past just fucked them. Try to steal their destiny when they should be sitting in great fortune instead of poverty. Tell me about great fortune. Virgo, this could have been you that was betrayed. Somebody could have made you look at something that's less than when it was really great. Yeah. Wish fulfillment great. Destiny great. Your gift from the universe great. A path that you're supposed to be taking great. Pay the cups reverse. But somebody was emotionally immature, emotionally unavailable because they refused to close the cycle with the world energy. They were supposed to close that cycle and heal from it. Some type of wise counsel or message you're about to receive here. Somebody wanted to throw something away that they wanted it, so they held back. Yeah. And the emperor. See, the emperor was supposed to be moving forward to invest, but he went backwards to invest. He decided to reconcile. But the victory was in his new love and his twin flame. And he's going to be receiving the truth about that. That the happiness is with the Queen of Cups. That's going to give him a whole new perspective about his wish fulfillment. Tell him about the Emperor. How you feeling? Regretful, disappointed, and sad. Yeah, and if he ain't, he about to be. He's going to be feeling regretful, sad, and disappointed. Why? Because he's about to make, be very made. He's about to be made. A, very clearly aware of what his intuition been telling him. And instead he's been flighty and risky and unreliable. The sun. Yep. Make it, like I said, I can't make this up. The sun is very, make it very clear what your intuition been telling you. And your intuition was telling you to end the ten of pentacles so that you could become the nine. So that you could begin to reach out for an ace. Which would have still gave you a ten. Which is still would have been longevity. But somebody didn't trick you or something. And there goes the King of Pentacles. Supposedly taking a leap of faith. I feel like somebody from the past tried to fuck you out of something. For their own beneficial gain or something. Maybe you was sudden wealth. The name was poverty, right? And Spirit was trying to put you. You sudden wealth. So he tried to put you with a great fortune. But this person is poverty getting in the middle of it. So I don't know what the fuck's going on here. But you about to find out this weekend. It's going to be evidence that you can't deny. Window watching the weekend for the Libra people. What's the message? The spare, unexpected income, and a child. Somebody could be receiving some type of messages that make them concerned when it comes to a child or when it comes to some money. I don't know what's that about. We got 
believer. The kid is not my son. Build a genius. Oh, man. Somebody could be finding out something about a kid not being theirs. Poverty, poor house. House. Oh, and you might put them out. Y'all might live together. Thief. Somebody been lying about a kid so that they can get some support. A roof over their head. False ass person. Now they gonna be acting like they all concerned because you making changes. Or this is you. Shit. Talking about poverty. Somebody about to be left straight out in the cold after receiving some type of results. Or after this courthouse energy. Libra. And then we got Virgo. You could be a Libra Virgo cuss. You could be leaving some type of love out in the store. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody you love that you're leaving out in the cold. Yeah, you definitely could be a, a Capricorn. I'm not a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be a Virgo Libra cuss. But whatever you're finding out is disappointing you. King of Swords. It's disappointing you and teaching you a spiritual lesson at the same time. And then we got the Empress, the Four of Wands, and the Three of Wands. That's about the future. That's about growth. That's about being patient. It's about new beginnings. Something abundant. Something. It's also about relationships and union. What's the Hermit? I mean, I'm curious as to what you got taught. Or what if somebody got taught. Oh, somebody's stressing up, staying up at night stressing. Because of some type of regret or some type of disappointment because of something that they were made aware of. Something could be about a son. About a kid. It is. Six of Cups. The son. Somebody's son. Somebody's been lying and betraying you. It's like receiving harsh truth right here. About a kid or about a past. About an inner child. Six of Wands. Your intuition is telling you that this is a victory. But that still don't make it hurt no less. Page of Pentacles. More children. Your intuition is saying it's a victory spiritually. And it's happening because it's supposed to. Because people was being false and trying to steal shit. To my courthouse... Could have been a fire sign, a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Or this is spiritual. That's why I said this could be some type of judgment happening here because the death card is happening. Something's coming to an end because somebody's been lying and scheming. But now you're in a position to receive this gift that the universe is trying to give you. you know, somebody, somebody could be an empress here. Somebody who's meant for you. Somebody who stands in their power. Somebody who moves different. Somebody who carry themselves different. Could be a fire sign. Could be a Scorpio. We even got Pisces. Got Taurus. And you, you, know, you may not clearly understand this just yet. But it all makes sense. It'll all get clear. You'll understand. House. Nine of Pentacles. Five of Wands. This person can have the audacity to try to argue with you about letting them stay with you still. About you still paying the bills. Or... You're going to have, it's going to be some type of argument about a house, a car, a child. Somebody's going to, it's going to be an argument taking place because somebody been working they working their little fingers off. And they can do bad all by themselves. But that's about somebody's about to become single here. But well, you're gonna become single from somebody who's a thief anyway. Somebody who's been lying and deceiving you. Somebody that your intuition been warning you about. But you've been trying to avoid a disaster. Could be this uh Taurus Virgo Capricorn woman that you maybe love or you've been offering love to. Or maybe this is happening so that you can be moving towards the Taurus Virgo Capricorn woman that you love and should be healing a destiny with. Seven of Swords. 
Whatever's happening here, it wounded you from Nine of Wands, but you're walking away with the Six of Swords. And you have a new perspective here on something that you held back from initially. Something that you could have had love for, but you didn't express it. I feel like if you would have followed your heart and your intuition, you wouldn't be dealing with this type of person right here. But I feel like it, it was like you, it was too good to be true or it was a little bit too frightening. Or this was more something you was used to or you thought, but you didn't really even know this person. You knew who they'd been lying to you and telling you that they was all this time. And now all the lies are starting to shatter. been bending the truth for many years. In the weekend for the Scorpio people. What's the message? Marriage, concern, poverty. So you could be concerned about a commitment here. You could be concerned that you put all this work into some something and now they're starting something new and leaving you out in the cold. Or this is how somebody's feeling about you. Scorpio. So somebody could be concerned that you, somebody that you're no longer with, excuse me, could be concerned that you're starting something new somewhere. It's, it's some type of bad support that you're receiving. It's coming to an end. What's the community? Because somebody that was supposed to support you then left you out in the cold. And now they in bad health. Possibly facing death. Bad health to the coffin. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. There's a map. I feel like there was supposed to be a leadership, bro. Somebody's supposed to take charge here when it comes to supporting a situation that's supposed to be victorious. But instead, they done left it out in the cold. Yep, and you possibly got something new and now they want to come back. But they in bad health after ever since y'all been done. This is somebody you gave love to. And now you're single receiving resources that they refuse to give you and then new love is coming in. Now this person want to be concerned because you're over here. You done moved away from toxicity. You done moved away from whatever my bad health yeah page of pentacles the seven of wands if somebody's sending you any type of bad energy is being blocked here with the seven of wands energy and be careful who you lay with 
Knight of Wands because everybody's energy ain't good. Okay? But there's somebody under by bad health because they was in and out and defensive. Somebody could be a, a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Scorpio. Somebody's intuition told them to build, to invest, to support. And they didn't do that. They were flighty instead. Yeah. Some of y'all going to be receiving uh, information about a Gemini or a Capricorn. And possibly even a twin flame. You're going to be receiving this toxic energy. The truth about whatever toxic energy that they in. Or whatever bad health that they're experiencing. And they might need your help. But let their ass figure it out. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, bad health. Because of ego. Because they chose ego. And now they're missing out on the opportunity. Because you got new shit coming in for you. Coughing. Could be a Taurus. Somebody's decisions brought their happiness to an end. The Emperor. Could be an Aries or it could be a Divine Masculine. Their decisions to hold back or hold on too tight, be stingy. What they wish fulfillment is what's fucking them. That's why they, they're dealing with what they're dealing with now. And somebody, look at that. But I feel like this person got the nerve to try to reach out to you and ask you for a help in here. Uh-uh, motherfucker. Ask that motherfucker you left me out in the cold for. Uh-uh. They feel like things are going good for you. Things are taking off. You maybe even got new shit coming in. And now here they come. No, baby. Uh-uh, baby. Go back over there to that corner you in. Because this ain't even that. Sorry for you. I'm sorry for you, but I'm not. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> shit. window watching the weekend for the Sagittarius people. What's the message? Window watching the weekend for the Sagittarius people. What's the message? You might drop something like a bad habit, Sagittarius. Unexpected income, house, thoughts. Thief, privileged lady, courthouse. So they're divine feminine. You could be dealing with some type of thief or somebody cricket. But they better get their karma for it, so they better be careful. This could be the person you dropping like a bad habit. I feel like you got some type of unexpected income coming in here. Or an unexpected move or unexpected new house. Or you've just been thinking about it. You received some money and now you think about moving. Name female coffin. A wealthy man. So somebody's gonna be contacting you telling you they done with somebody else. This divine masculine here. He's gonna be trying to give you some type of gift. He's going to reach out. He's going to be trying to express some type of change. This is somebody that you put a lot of energy into. And you waited on them to support you. You waited on them to show up as the official person. But all they did was leave you out in the cold. Possibly for this mature. I mean, for this main female whom they now done with. Or whom is now done with them. Tell me about this main female. main 
female, a Sagittarius. We're dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Yep, there it is. The Emperor. This air sign emperor, whoever's air emperor is an air sign. He didn't left you out in the cold for this bride. It ain't even a uh, a motherfucking divine feminine. Yeah. So now he's feeling like he missed the opportunity for his wish fulfillment, and he's trying to apologize. It ain't that the pentacle you just received? So be careful with these motherfuckers. But he got the seven of cups. Seven of cups. You feel like you got options, or he's confused, or he's trying to come in with confusion. Something about this emperor. So this person could have retreated for a relationship they already had, or a marriage that they went back to. Could have been dealing with a Virgo. Could have been an Aries. Could have been a Leo. Or a Scorpio. So you're being made aware of what somebody did when they moved on or when they left you behind. You're receiving the truth about what happened when somebody walked away and things ended between y'all. Yeah, this motherfucker went somewhere else. Whom they now moving away from. And they're going to be forced to tell you the truth. Because now they're going through an ending with this person. Coughing. Yep. Justice. Forced to tell you the truth. Forced to do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Because you don't know. I don't feel like you You might know a little bits and pieces, but you ain't clearly aware of what happened and what's going on. Or where this person was, what, what kind of equal give and take or resource for whatever was going on here. Where they was putting the work into having an equal give and take with something else or something new or... They offered their love to a different connection or something like that. Justice. Yep, they made a decision to invest in the Queen of Swords. I'm considering they're coming up as the king. They definitely could have had something long term with this woman. To my wealthy man. Now he wants to balance out his he wants to balance out wish fulfillment. Because he's been thinking about it. No, because his ass going through a painful ass ending with the past person that he should have been leaving alone. They ain't do shit but wound his ass. And now he's trying to get the use of tools. He got to manifest. Magician. Or she. Yep. They're trying to manifest out of this reconciliation that ain't shit but disappointing. Arguing and fighting. This person's learning a spiritual lesson here. And they will be taking the leap of faith your way right after they get in this do you know go through this painful ass ending with whoever this person is that they thought was better or this maybe they didn't think they was better they was just used to it and this is where they was building so this is where they continued to build but they kind of kept it on the hush they kept it on the hush or they didn't tell all the details okay i feel like that's gonna be coming out Watching the weekend for the Capricorn people. What's the message? Capricorn. Adjudication high gift. So somebody's got to face adjudication. They don't know if this is going to go in their favor or against them. But when it comes to a gift that Spirit was giving. And somebody showed up as a false person, so now they're now in despair because of all the work and energy and effort that the other person put in. Or somebody's in despair because of all the energy they put in to be false and it's still not worked out for them. Mature woman. Distant horizon. Wow. 
the lovers. So I feel like there's a distant horizon in the distance in the near future. Somebody's gonna have to make a decision here. I feel like it's about the same shit though. I'm talking about this mature woman. Somebody's definitely matured here. Or they will in the distant horizons. Mature woman. Somebody's feeling way down with guilt. Could be a Libra. Queen of Swords. Sagittarius, Aries. Because somebody made a bad decision here. And they're hoping that, they're praying and hoping that it could be fixed, that it could be healed. So Capricorn, you could have made a bad decision or somebody could have made a bad decision when it comes to you. Okay, it could be a Taurus. Or not, well, I'll say bad, but it's really a regretful decision. Somebody fought for something that they should have let go of. They should have walked away. They knew the person was frisky, knew they was a player, but it was something that, I don't know, maybe y'all, there was some passion between y'all. Maybe the ego was being stroked. Could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, could be a Pisces. But somebody had a chance to take control of the unknown before the unknown got out of control, and now they're sitting in anxiety because they didn't. You could be sitting in anxiety because you feel like uh, you're going through an ending or somebody got a choice between you. Intuitively know this emperor's got a choice between two women or something like that. Somebody distant horizons. Yeah, this is somebody you should have let go of, and in the future you're about to. Should have let them go, but you're about to. Are they letting you go? Somebody's letting somebody go so they can be victorious in the healing phase. Or so that they can actually show up to an equal give and take. Because whatever this is, haven't been equal giving and taking. It's only been passion, and that's it. Yeah. Somebody could be dealing with a Gemini, Virgo, Pisces. You know, somebody's making a choice to do what their intuition told them and using their tools that they know they have to, to, to get it together. Some of my lovers. So somebody had a choice between possibly a twin flame in the past. And whatever they chose ended up putting them in burdens and a disaster. But it made them see clearly with the sun energy. Six of Cups is here too because I don't know if you chose. I'm pretty sure if you chose the twin flame, you wouldn't be here. Somebody chose they passed over their twin flame. Now the sun comes out, gives you a new perspective with the page of swords. And then you walk away from whatever you chose so that you can move towards what actually wish fulfillment is. You're walking away from whatever's not. You're walking away to get something better. Something that's in alignment with you. Or this is somebody walking away towards you. But somebody was supposed to already let this go and they didn't. And they had to learn a lesson along the way. And now they're letting it go. Now they're surrendering. Now they're doing what they're supposed to do or what they was told to do. They're also sitting in heavy regret about the fact that they didn't do it long, you know, long, uh, sooner.
time to send her. Uh -huh. That's it. Sure. That's all the motherfuckers getting out of me. You know? Uh -huh. Watching the weekend for the Aquarius people. What's the message? Wonder watching the weekend for the Aquarius people. What's the message? Aquarius. Change, despair, child. Somebody's been in despair, but a new energy is about to come in here. You've been concerned about some type of support that you haven't been receiving or some type of support that's been being taken, okay? So something's about to change for you, about to receive wind or news of it. Yeah, house, that's some new energy coming in. New house, new car, something abundant, something that makes you excited. Wealthy man, this could be for the divine masculine. Yeah, courtship, something new is coming in for divine masculine here. Could be an official person. Or it could be some type of finances here. It could be a, that a divine masculine is coming in for a divine feminine. I don't really know. Talking about house. But somebody don't want something new. Or yeah, you, you're gonna be receiving some type of news here, truth here, about a house, a home, or something new that you intuitively knew was coming, but you just couldn't see it yet. You also been praying about it. You're receiving clarity here. If you're not receiving clarity, you're receiving an idea that, that brings in the resources for you to get there. Yep, King of Swords. That's you, Aquarius Masculine. You're receiving some type of help or you're receiving some type of information about what to work on or what to restrict work from or what to stand in your power and get done. Yeah, something's about to help you get your move yourself from stagnation. You feel somebody's been having anxiety because they're feeling stuck or stagnated, and spirit is about to give you some type of information that helps you get helps you right over that hump or that obstacle that you've been feeling. Helps you to be victorious over any toxic or toxicity or low vibration that's in your in your way or in your energy. Wealthy man, yeah, you're about to find yourself walking away from something. Some some type of chaotic time in order and in moving into karma waters here with the six of swords you want to get an idea or information as to what to do to make a decision to get you into karma waters and then you're going to be celebrating because you realize now that you had all the tools you need all event all, all along but you maybe didn't kind of understand something so me you mean you some type of emotion could be getting healed here. Some type of longevity. It could just be uh, finances as well. Talking about courtship. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn. There could be a Capricorn out here who decided they don't want nobody but you. He could be a divine masculine. Could be a Taurus or a Virgo. Somebody, this is somebody who done put an end to their toxic ways. They play their ways. They, they, they low vibrational, egotistical ways. They're ready to learn something. They're ready to get into alignment. Page of Cups. You're going to receive some type of happy news from this person. Could be a Taurus with this uh, Knight of Wands. I mean, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're receiving some type of information about some type of regret or disappointment from the past. Somebody wish they would have did things different or they wish things would have turned out different. They was confused or they didn't quite know who they was yet. So they were just bouncing around being frisky. 
and somebody's deciding to stand in their power they feel like you really mean something to them queen of swords they feel like you might be the one here with the queen of wands or they might be choosing you over a woman that they decide to hold back from you for that's for somebody watching the weekend for the Pisces people what's the message wonder watching the weekend for the Pisces people what's the message child wealthy man pathway some type of new some type of new pathway could be opening up here for a wealthy man or with a wealthy man be something new because somebody could be thinking about um how they left you out in the cold or how they abandoned you or this is you thinking about the best this is what you did to somebody else we got for pisces to other and labor yes yeah, somebody put in a lot of work and didn't receive nothing for it or i didn't receive what they was worth at least the credit they was due mm -hmm. imprisonment official person this is the same energy from the week message of concern courtship and journey somebody's concerned that they don't have access to their journey no more but they in some type of spiritual jail why because official person came through that's like a high honor energy that's like one of the lord's troopers <laughs> talking about toil and labor for the Pisces people. Something about this toil and labor. I feel like you. it was a situation. Maybe somebody put a lot of energy into their happiness or something that they wanted to see be a happy ever after with this Ten of Cups or something spiritual here. And they feel like you haven't been paying off, but I do feel like you're about to start being rewarded and recognized here. Something's about to start paying off spiritually that you feel like it hasn't. Something that you've been building and working on and staying in alignment with. It's about to work out for you. Okay. Um, I do feel like you're going to be victorious over a love situation where you put in a lot of effort and didn't get it back. Okay. Some type of contract or you're about to receive some type of Timothy's Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're going to receive some type of enlightenment, some type of clarity about something that wounded you. Something from the past. Somebody, Possibly somebody moving you away from the past that wounded you. Having some type of messages that they want to tell you. Sun card. The Emperor. So there's an Emperor here finally putting the burdens down. And just going to say, fuck it. This is, this is the energy. And let me finally put these burdens down. Fuck it. I got to do what I got to do. Could be a Virgo. Could be a Libra. Could be another Pisces. Could be an Aries. Messages. It was the Page of Wands. Yeah, somebody's been... Somebody knows the facts or they got the, the truth. Queen of Wands. Of who the, their divine counterpart is. But they've been restricting themselves from this love and it's been holding you up. And I feel like this is a situation where you put a lot of love in, but it only got you wounded. Eight of Wands.
Yep, the messages is coming from whoever left you out in the cold. Now they want to try to choose the destiny. They want to speak some type of truth about the destiny because of imprisonment. Spirit didn't play with that ass. He put him in a spiritual jail. Yep, for seven of swords, the king of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. He's in a spiritual jail because he deceived you. Look at that. He betrayed you and now his ass sitting up in spiritual jail. Ain't that a bitch. Seven of swords, what did he do? Knight of Wands. He was a player. He was in and out. Between you and the Ten of Pentacles. Two of Cups reverse. So he didn't give into a connection because of Ten of Pentacles. Some some longevity, some religious factor. Being back and forth between two. He's hurt because he was supposed to make a decision to close out a cycle and he didn't. He couldn't manifest because he was too busy being egotistical. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. I feel like things are growing for you. They are growing for you. But you did feel stagnated in this love and you didn't know what the fuck to do. You was confused and it brought you into a disaster with the Seven of Cups Tower. And that's why this person's facing the imprisonment. Your intuition told you to just leave their ass behind. You're better off on your own. You had to leave your spiritual connection behind and be better off your own. And now stuff is starting to take off and grow and, and prosper for you. Talk about the King of Pentacles. And he's coming out with the Queen of Pentacles. So he didn't gave his pentacle to the Queen. <laughs> he didn't gave his the King of Pentacles then gave his Ace of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. And now the Queen of Pentacles are turned into the Queen of Swords on his dumb ass. Or this is something you already told him about. Uh Queen of Wands. Queen of Swords, I mean. So somebody received intuitive messages and they try to tell somebody. Or the queen, the queen of Pentacles been out here talking like she knows something. She been talking a good game, saying this and saying that, but her whole intentions is just to hold on to this masculine. And when he should have been following his intuition, so that's his bad. <laughs> they both in karma. Something about official person. I feel like somebody new and official's coming in, or this Virgo about to come back in. With the hermit. Could be a Taurus or a Capricorn as well. But this is somebody who's getting an, a, 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 a reality check. Somebody's planning. Somebody's planning to come and show you who they truly are in love. But this is somebody you're moving away from. Because they coming to try to show you how official they are when, baby, you been official. So what they talking about? Yeah, they stressing out. About standing up and defending this position in your life because they chose the karmic justice reverse judgment. That's what put their ass in judgment now because they decided to choose a karmic and they claim they couldn't see. And spirits say that's bullshit because your intuition gave you the messages. You just wasn't courageous enough to go through the ending because you was too busy focusing on the past. Yeah, spirit about the reality check the fuck out this person. But this is what came out for you through the week. But I feel like it's still taking place in the weekend. Somebody's stuck with this. But that's what they get. We make our bed, we lay in it. We reap what we sow. That's how shit be going. So you better be careful how you treat people. Because that shit will come back. And it'll come back in ways you didn't see it coming. All because you thought you was better than somebody. Or belittling somebody. Or you thinking, oh, well, this ain't a good option. Let me go choose this. How you going to tell spirit what a good option is? And what's a better option? You better sit your ass down somewhere and listen. Okay? So, but that's what I got for y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Namaste and be blessed.